solutions to combat harmful content while generally protecting speech online? Uh, I think that's, a, that's quite a tough one. <laughs> um, so, uh, firstly, it's not new. So, um, Europe had what's called the 30-year war, um, which ended in about 1648. Uh, there was huge amounts of genocide, religious violence, ethnic violence, pogroms, burning of witches, and a lot of this came from a new technology called the printing press. You could uh, very easily replicate short pieces of propaganda and, and spread harmful messages. So harmful content will always be with us. Um, how it intersects with harms in the real world, I think, is important. And I think we need a global perspective on harmful content because, you know, two elections went wrong in, in, in the UK and the US. And suddenly this is a big debate. Um, people are looking at countries where Facebook is definitely intersecting with conflict, like Myanmar, like Sri Lanka. Um, but yeah, that doesn't exist in a vacuum. Uh, there were conflicts before. So I, I think there needs to be content moderation that, that also needs to be accompanied by digital literacy, social media literacy, and some effort at peace building online.